For question number 21, we are going to deal with complex numbers. We are going to divide and write in the standard form. And the standard form of the complex number is the form that we see a plus b i, where i is the number. When you square that, you will get negative 1. And here we have 2 plus i over 3 minus 2i. And the denominator is the ones that we have to take care of it. And the way that we're going to do this is that um, if you have the i on the bottom, you have to somehow produce the i square so that the i square will become negative 1, a regular number. Okay? And for this, you can actually square the top and bottom and things like that. It's not an equation. Then this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use this formula. When you have the equation, when you have the, um, the formula a plus b, if you multiply that with a minus b, if these two things multiply, you will get a squared minus b squared. And that's how we can produce the squares. We cannot just square the top and bottom, but when you have a fraction, we can multiply the top and bottom with the same thing. Okay? So right here, when you have 3 minus 2i, we are going to multiply by um, 3 plus 2i. The conjugate of that, which is just the opposite, because when you have a plus b times a minus b, you can produce a squared minus b squared. When you have 3 minus 2i, you will just multiply by 3 plus 2i. And once again, the denominator is the ones that we have to take care of the problem. Right? But if you have a fraction, you also need to multiply that on the top as well. 3 plus 2i on the top as well. Then, let's multiply this out to see what we get. So, let's work out the bottom first, because we can just use this formula for this. So the a is just a 3. Okay? So when you multiply this out, you can just take the first term, which is the 3. I will write that as 3 squared like that. And that will be minus. The b part is the 2i. Okay, so it's like a squared minus b squared, and then the b is the 2i minus. Put the 2i in the parentheses and square that. And let me just write that down for now by using that formula. Once again, it's the first square minus the second square, right? the a squared minus b squared. And on the top, I will have to fold this out. So let's do it. Three, uh, 2 times 3. 2 times 3, I get a regular number 6. And then, just continue with this, 2 times 2i, I get plus 4i. And then, i times 3, I get plus 3i. And the last part, i times 2i, I get plus 2i. But i times i is i squared. So, so far, this is what we have. Okay. Then, uh, let's just kind of take care of the things, combine items, uh, do the necessary change if possible. Um, the idea is that whenever you see i squared, you should change that to a negative 1, a regular number negative 1. This is the imaginary number. Okay. And then I do see I have a negative 1 that I can replace with this i squared here. Because I have 2 i squared. So I can replace that with negative 1. So positive 2 times negative 1 is just saying that minus 2. Okay? And then on the top, let's see. It's pretty much we are saying I have 6 right here and negative 2 right here. So 6 minus 2 is 4. And then we have 4i plus 3i, that's 7i plus 7i. So that's the top. And let's work out the bottom. I have 3 squared, that's 9. Minus, I have 
um, 2i in the parentheses square. So I have to do 2 square, which is 4, but then I also have i square, right? I have i square. But once again, I see that I have the i square like this. I have the i square right here. So it's going to change the sign because I have like saying negative 4 times negative 1. So in fact, we have 9 plus 4. Because once again, let me just make this darker. i square is negative 1. Negative 1 times the negative becomes a positive here. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. So we can just put the 13 down here. And to make what we have right here in the form of a plus bi, we can just split the fraction. I will write this as 4 over 13. And these are just regular numbers. They have no imaginary, imaginary number i's. Plus, have the 7, and over the denominator 13. Up the i, and you can put it on the top, or you can put it on the side, but do not put it on the denominator. So I'll just put it on the side, okay? So that's how it works. And at the end, this right here, it's the answer in the form of a plus bi.